Hey YouTubers, Rival X Factor here along with the Minions, Troy and Boogie. Boys, how you doing today? Good. Hello. Did you get a little boozing in this weekend? A little bit. Nah. Nah, no fun for you. No so, fun. So, what I want to go over is, Troy, take your position, is when you're in a public server, this is different than competitive play. You kind of have to figure out what your teammates are up to, and sometimes it's really hard. So, let's go over a couple things. Right now, we're on uh, Metro, obviously, and Troy and Boogie have this lane, this left lane. So, no one's to my right, so what should I do? Should I go like this, or should I come over here and play this lane? Okay, so this is the easiest one, and this is the first one, the most obvious one, okay? Because if you're all facing the same way, like if I spawn off Troy and don't watch the right side or don't look at the mini-map and notice that half my team, you know, half my squad is looking to this left position, you know, I'm fucked. All right, so what you want to do is you want to make sure you cover lanes as a squad, okay? So it's up to you as a public player and public servers to figure this out. So let's go over some of more crazy situations here. All right, now let's go over a more popular thing that I see a lot of, and that's people bouncing back and forth because they don't realize that they can trust their teammates. And a lot of times you can't. So what's the answer here? It's actually a crapshoot. If you see guys bouncing back and forth, it's best that you don't do the same thing, but you pick a side. Okay, because what's the potential here? The potential is they both get caught up on the same side for a split second, and a bad guy literally comes around the corner and just open, opens up fire on their back. Okay, so this is up to you. This is a crapshoot again, but what I usually do in these situations is I'll pick a side. And then if the player notices that I'm kind of babysitting a side, sometimes it settles their nerves. Sometimes if they're paying attention, they'll say, wait a minute, X Factor's trying to watch this lane. I feel kind of safe. Let me turn my back and watch this left lane. Because what's the worst thing that can happen? Everybody's looking the same way. One guy comes around a corner and levels your whole squad or three, four, five guys. Then they push up the back stairs. So let's take a look at a couple, you know, a couple different things on another map. Okay, so we're at Bia Bazaar. Very popular map. Very highly contested spot. And there's a problem here. Okay, if I notice that multiple teammates are looking the same way, there are breach points that we have to worry about. And the major one is this one that we call rugs out the gate. Okay, so off the break, what happens 90% of the time is the Russian LEV comes down this side road and people hop out. Okay, so what do I do? Do I form up a line like my teammates? I can if I want to get shot in the back. Or do I trust them and sit back and watch an angle? Okay, now I can kind of cover two different angles. Okay, I can watch my kitchen, my tiles, and I can watch the rugs. The rugs is the biggest one. If you think somebody's there, just chuck a nade, listen for voices, look for hit marker, or hit coin as I call it. All right? But it's big to watch this spot right here because if you get a quick pick on a guy, okay, he might have been the only guy alive, and that could have prevented a whole spawn bomb. What's a spawn bomb? When people start spawning out of a squad, squad guy's ass like monkeys, okay? So one guy becomes two, then two become three, then three become four, okay? I've seen so many times where one guy comes through here, he'll get to this point and just start raping people. Well, guess what? Now they're in the B spawn. Now they're babysitting this point. They probably work, walk through to the, uh, the other B spawn. All right, so keep that in mind next time you're playing Battlefield. It's a little bit of theory crafting, and I know it's kind of frustrating playing public servers because I go through this every day. It's you wish your teammates could trust you. Some do, some don't, but just put some trust in your teammates and watch the angles and learn to watch what your teammates aren't looking at. That's probably the most important thing to take from this. If three of your teammates are watching the left, go watch the right. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Boys, thanks for helping. No problem.